we have an upgrade available. And I'm going to go to 7.0, update one. And you know, notice right here and here. You can click, but really it's going to just bring me to Vami. Uh, but here you can see the build we're going from and to. Got a nice little link for the release notes. That is very handy. Gotta love that. All right. Now to actually do the work. Well, let's just check if the interoperability report shows anything. Since I don't have anything party, third party, I don't think it's going to show anything, but just in case. And by the way, I've got these other servers turned off at the moment. Okay. Now, as far as the actual update, let me go back. Let's click on that again. Okay, if you're already in there, it's not going to do anything. All right. Pre-update check. We'll see what it does or what its results are. And then we'll just launch Mammy. It's when you connect to the host, colon 5480 port 5480 to just connect with the uh, kind of the back end UI for maintenance of the VCSA appliance itself. All right, that's taking a little longer tonight. No issues found. And here it is launching VAMI for me. It opened up a new window off screen. Let me bring that up on your screen. There we go. All right, we're ready for the update tab. This is no different than the previous 7.0. Um, so the first patch was out, but now this is 7.0 update 1a. So I'm ready on 7.0 update 1. We're going to 7.0 update 1a tonight. All right. No applicable update found. So it didn't do a check from the URL, but now that I manually pull it, it should find it. Usually when you bring up that UI, it hits the web and finds it. So I'm not sure why that didn't hit or work, but here we go. October 21st, this came out. It's now on November 9th. Let's just open that up for a little more detail. Notice this is low priority. It's not super important to do. And here we go. Stage and install. The cool thing is it's going to give me some warnings about backups and it gives me a nice chance to launch to see how my backups are doing. Are my daily backups working that I configured? which are to a simple network share in my case. Okay. Password. Wait for it. There we go. Go to backups. Remember I told you we can launch backups and click here twice and we get November 9th popping right on top. That's today's date. So I'm happy with that. So yes, I have backed up. Click finish. Remember, no more snapshotting here. No more snapshot based third party backups here. This is the way to do your update to VCSA. And if you need to restore from a backup because things go horribly wrong, well, then you're downloading the VCSA ISO. Uh, you open it, you run the installer inside of it, and it prompts you for where your backup is and restores that into this new VM it creates basically. So that's the gist of it. Um, that's it for kicking off this backup. Sorry kicking off this upgrade tonight. And um, well, I'll time lapse this part, I suppose, but another straightforward update. And that's, that's what we want. <laughs> These within version upgrades tend to be straightforward. So moving 6.7 to 6.7.0 was not this method. You were mounting an ISO and so forth, but it, it wasn't a simple web download to go from 6.7 um, to 7.0. But once you're in the 7.0 family, yeah, these easy updates within VAMI are a breeze. So it succeeded. It was something under 20 minutes. I wasn't quite watching when it actually finished. So hit close here. Update, you saw it spinning. Oh boy, still a sloppy error there when you actually have succeeded. It should be a, a 
a little weird, but okay. Now let's go to the VCSA. vSphere client UI and log right back in and we should be good. Other than three hosts being offline, so you're going to see some nasty warnings there. What we should see on the summary screen at the top is a healthy system. All right, okay, a little slow to log in on that first login after an update. I've noticed that before and that's all pretty normal. I'm running the latest version, so I'd say that upgrade was a success. So I'm pleased with the results. It's very straightforward. That's always a good thing. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and thank you for visiting Tinker Try IT at Home, where I have a collection of vSphere articles and videos for you. Bye for now.